Well, every five years, a group of fur trade era reenactors comes to Minnesota to camp and participate in time period activities. As Mel Meyer reports from Bemidji, the High Plains Regional Rendezvous brings in history lovers from all over. About 500 people have moved into the temporary camping site for the pre-1840 festivities. We've got uh, a couple of Texans, we've got uh, Montana. They get into character, performing skills like knife throwing, which was used while hunting if you didn't get a kill shot. My first one I stuck the knife right in and, and it was on a practice one. I actually split the log over there. Not only do the reenactors learn how to do these activities, but they live them too. It's one of the best parts of the event, says Todd Wells. As a history buff, Wells never gets tired of wearing period accurate clothing and learning from others. After 40 years, I've learned stuff this year that, you know, and I, I look forward to that continuing on. The week long event not only gives participants the chance to live out the life, but to do so with friends and family. John Adams used to bring his boys when they were growing up. In the early days, you had, it was basically just a bunch of men going out and having fun. Over time, more women and children have joined in. Kim Kwa started coming with her aunt and uncle. We just got into it, me and my husband, and now little Reed. If attendees don't come with others, they'll surely pick them up along the way. We got together these two guys and said, well, hey, you want to go down? Sure. So we got together and came down. It's this close-knit community <laughs> that keeps many coming back for more. We might not see each other for five years. We're still family. In Bemidji, I'm Mel Meyer, Lakeland News. Next year, the High Plains Regional Rendezvous will be held in the Flint Hills of Northeast Kansas. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.